What's up everyone? We are here in the Jurassic room and today we'll be heading out on yet another Jurassic toy hunt. I'm planning on stopping at Target, Walmart, Ross, and Burlington in search of bringing new items back to the Jurassic room. So let's head out on the adventure and see what we can bring back to my collection. So we are at our first stop outside of Target. Again, I'm really, really hoping to find that Epic Evolution Triceratops green variant or really anything that I don't have in my collection yet. Or it would be pretty cool to see if I can find anything on some deep clearance. So let's head inside and see what they got. So here we are on the toy section and it is absolutely barren. I know that's definitely because of Christmas and the rush to get a bunch of gifts. Um, they do have some Epic Evolution. They have the Triceratops, but unfortunately it's the gray variant that I already have. Um, they have a Neo Venator, but at least they've got some Epic Evolution, but there's really barely anything to see here. Now they do have one last Legacy Collection Velociraptor, which is on sale from down to $3.59 from $11.99, which is crazy cheap. So I'll probably grab this at least. But other than that, there is really nothing here. Christmas um, destroyed the Jurassic toy aisle, but at least we won't leave here empty handed. Now we are outside of Walmart. And again, I really want to find that variant Triceratops or anything that I don't have in my collection. There's no telling what I'm going to find. So let's head in and see what they got. So here we are on the toy section, and again, I can't find that variant Triceratops. I did find the gray one again, which is super annoying because I really, really want to find the green variant um, so that I can have both in my collection. But looking around, there's really not that much extra. They did um, discount the Pyroraptor and the Shrosraptors, oops, down to $8, which is pretty cool, but it's not good enough of a deal for me to start picking up extras yet. But other than that, they also clearance down the captive's eggs to $3.50 and the bigger ones to $6, which isn't bad. But again, I don't really see anything I need. There are more Crash and Attack Ford Explorer sets, which is pretty cool to see. But outside of all of this, I don't see anything that I need for my collection. Um, so I don't think I'll be grabbing anything from the Jurassic section here at Walmart. Now further down into the toy section, they do have a Jurassic Park 30th anniversary 100 piece puzzle. And I looked it up online to see what the design actually was. And it's really, really cool. And I think it's $8.97, which isn't too bad of a price. And I really like the egg it comes in. So I will be grabbing this. And as y'all can see to the left, this is what the picture it looks like um, that comes in it. So it looks really, really nice. So I'm definitely going to grab this so that we don't leave this Walmart empty handed. So now I am outside of Ross and I'm curious to see if they have anything that I don't have in my collection yet. They have been getting a lot of new toys in recently. So hopefully I can find something to bring home with me. So let's head inside and see what I can find. So here we are with all the toys here at Ross and they still got a lot of Dino Tracker figures showing up. So we've got like a Track and Attack Indoraptor here. There's also some Strike and Roar Gigas, which are running $19.99, which is pretty good. And the Track and Attack Indoraptors $12.99, um, like I've seen in my last few toy hunts, um, but still really, really good prices. Now, as I came down here, I saw even more Jurassic items. Um, first off, we got like a Dominion Pteranodon, but the Dominion stuff has been at discount stores for a while now. And then as I came down here, I just kept seeing a bunch of Dino Tracker stuff. We got a Search and Smash truck set for $10.99, which is a wonderful price. Also, as I came down here, look at all these other Dino Trackers we have. We have, boom, the Biston Haven Soar for $9.99, which is a great price. Um, we've got, whoops, we've got Niger Saurus here for $7.99. And again, more Dominion stuff that's been around for a while. Um, we got some Imagine Next items and everything too, but back behind everything, I found a Hammond Collection Concavenator for $9.99, and the box is in really good condition, um, especially for being at a discount store like this. So I am gonna grab this so that we don't leave here empty-handed, but I'm probably not gonna grab any of the extra Dino Tracker stuff since I already did in my last couple toy hunts. Um, but since I don't want to leave here empty handed and there was only one Hammond Collection Concavenator, this is going to be coming back to the collection with us.
All right, now we are outside of Burlington. Again, I'm hoping to find some sort of cool discount Jurassic item like I did a little bit ago at Ross. So let's head inside and see what they got. So here we are in the toy section and they don't have a lot of Jurassic stuff. They do have some dino trackers over here, which is awesome. I'm actually kind of shocked to see. This is the first time I've seen one of these at a discount store and um, $5.99 is a pretty good price. Um, so they do have some of the dino trackers like they've been showing up, um, but not a lot. They got some Dominion stuff like I've seen for a while at discount stores, you know, some like Extreme Damage Rexes. They got some Imagine X stuff scattered around as well, but there's just not that much Jurassic, unfortunately. This is my first time ever coming to this Burlington location, um, and there's just really not that much to see but I was over in the corner near the backpacks over there and I found this really cool Jurassic World backpack and I looked at the price and it's on clearance for $7.39. Um, so we'll grab this so that we don't leave this Burlington empty handed because this is a cool little collectible. But other than that, they don't really have much here, but again, at least I'm not leaving empty handed. While I was shopping around some more, I found this awesome Jurassic Park mug and it's only $4.99, but I can't remember if I have this. It looks really, really familiar, so I may actually have it, um, but I may go ahead and grab it anyways because it looks really nice, and if I do have it, I'll have one to actually drink out of. So um, yeah, I'll probably go ahead and get it, but another pretty cool find here at Burlington. So up in the checkout aisle, I found a Dr. Ian Malcolm Funko Pop from Dress World Dominion, and I've never seen this at a discount store, and it's running $4.99, which isn't bad. Um, I won't grab it since, of course, I already have it, um, but I just thought it was cool to see at a discount store like this, and I thought I would show it to everyone. Now we are back into the Jurassic room, so let's take a look at everything that I got on today's toy hunt. So here is everything that made it back to the collection room with me. Starting off at Target, we got this Legacy Collection Velociraptor, um, which was on sale for three something, but they actually had an extra 20% off Jurassic World toys. And with tax and everything, this ended up costing me like $2.80 which is super crazy cheap. So I was super happy to actually pick up another, even though I already have this one. It's no big deal when it's that cheap. Then next up at Walmart, we got this cool Jurassic Park 30th anniversary puzzle that is inside of an egg. It says mystery puzzle inside, but like I showed y'all earlier in the video, you know what the puzzle actually looks like and it looks really, really cool. So that's why I definitely had to pick it up for the collection. I'm a sucker for anything that is like retro Jurassic Park. Then we headed to Ross and I got this awesome Hammond Collection Concavenator for 10 bucks. It was actually in pretty good condition. Not many nicks or dings on the box. And it's always a welcome addition to add extra Hammond Collection into my collection since it is probably my favorite toy line that Mattel has produced thus far. So really awesome to add another Concavenator to the collection. And then at Burlington, we got this really cool Jurassic Park mug, which I do think I have one of now that I think about it. But um, since it was only $4.99, if I do have another one, I'll actually drink out of this mug and use it because it is pretty. Who wouldn't mind having some nice tea or something in the morning to Jurassic Park? So super, super cool. And then the last item I got at Burlington was this Jurassic World backpack, which is pretty unique. And it was clearance down like crazy. I already took the stickers off, so I can't show y'all again, but I did show y'all when we were in the store. It's got this cool Jurassic World design down the straps. It's got the nice like gates kind of over the top, some more cool design on the sides. And then it's got that awesome render of Rexy and blue with all the glitter on the front of it, which is awesome. So this is everything that made it back to the collection with me on today's toy hunt. Nothing too crazy, but still always awesome to bring more Jurassic merchandise back to my collection. 
Thank you for tuning in to today's awesome video. If you enjoyed this and want to see so much more from my collection, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you don't miss anything that's going on here in the Jurassic Room. And go ahead and check me out on Instagram and TikTok at Jurassic Park World Collector and join my Discord server to chat with me and many other Jurassic and dinosaur fans. The links will all be in the description below. Check out more awesome videos here. And don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>